Welcome to Grumpy Man's Reviews. Today we're looking at the Maisie HD CCTV camera system. This is an eight channel DVR and it comes with six cameras. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to pick this up. I've also reviewed other security cameras. I will leave a link in the description box below and in the pop-up card if you want to watch them reviews. A quick start guide runs you through how to connect the app. But you are able to download the full one if you want to have a look. But I will walk you through setting them up and then of course we'll have a look at the daytime and nighttime footage as well like we normally do if you've been around my channel before. A patch cable. You don't have to connect this to the internet, but if you do, you could view the cameras on your tablet or your smartphone, but you have to download the XVR View app first. So mounting hardware, but to be honest, these screws do look really cheap, so I will be using them, I'll be using my own. Six set of cables, because of course this is a six camera system. Each cable is around 20 meters, Again, the quality is quite thin on that. You've got, if I just, if I can untangle this first. So one end would go to the camera and the other end would go to the DVR box. Of course, I will show you that. A mouse. I reviewed a Sansco wireless CCTV system on my channel not so long ago and it were the same mouse that will light up red I think. Four splitters that would go to the adapter one end and the other end would go to the camera because of course there are six cameras but you can add two more because it's an eight channel DVR this. Three power adapters they all same in power so it's not like one's for the dvr and one for the camera though one for the camera as well you could use any we get six bullet cameras each camera is 1080p 2 megapixel 3.6 millimeter lens built-in microphone they do of course have motion detection and ip66 made out of plastic that's what it looks like from the back you could Put the cable down there if you want. The cable splits into two, one for power and one for the BNC cable. The cameras can be adjusted from there. Cameras do look nice and cute. They're small, they won't intrude. So 3.6 millimeter lens, 24 infrared lights, motion sensor in the middle there, and a built-in sun guard. That's the DVR, some branding there. That's for the remote, but this does not have a remote with it. Power, alarm, record, menu, escape, some more selection buttons there. At the bottom, just letting us know it's eight channel DVR. This comes pre-installed with one terabyte hard drive, which will loop record for 15 days and then it will overwrite itself. But you are able to upgrade the hard drive to a six terabyte. That's what it looks like from the side. Of course, to take this off, you unscrew them two there and them two there, and then the drives inside, and them four screws are holding the drive together and you'll need to unscrew them as well. I like the size of the DVR. It's not big, gone are the olden days where you'd get a really big DVR. It's nice and small. Video in, as you can see there, it has eight, but this system only comes with six cameras, so you are able to add two more cameras. HDMI to connect it to your TV or monitor. I'm going to be connecting it to my monitor. Audio in, audio out. These cameras only have a microphone, so it's audio in. You can't speak out from them. And Ethernet port, as I mentioned before, you don't have to connect it to the internet if you don't want to. That's only for viewing the cameras online. Two USB ports, one's for the mouse and one's for a USB pen drive or a hard drive for taking footage off. Power port and a VGA port there if you want to connect it to your monitor. Let's make a start at connecting everything up. First, the power adapter. The mouse, it could go in any, put it in the bottom one. This step, you don't have to do if you don't want to view the cameras online. 
the other end of this would of course go into the back of my router you could also use a power line adapter or a wi-fi extender it doesn't have to be a router okay next get the cables the bnc cable this one. So plug it into any it doesn't matter but i'm plugging it into new one so push it in and twist that's on you get the power splitter that would go into that the four-way power splitter this this end of it would go into that as I mentioned before you could use any adapter these of course would get plugged in to the mains now I'm using a HDMI cable, it's not provided, so you've got to use your own. That of course would go into the HDMI port. The other two cables would go into the camera. Here's the camera. That's the BNC cable. Push it in, twist, and the other one would of course go in there. I'll plug the adapters in now and put this ethernet cable to my router and we'll power it on. Just show you the DVR box. If you'll be able to see. Yeah. There's a blue light on there. The remote does have a red light in it. Okay, guide, if I press next, it's both three QR codes up, one's for iOS, one's for Android, that's to download the app, it's the XVR View app, and this is the serial number, we're going to need this when we download the app, next, I'm leaving everything on default, the bottom here, quality, next, please press OK, right, Right, there we are. So as you can see, it's got camera one to camera eight because it's an eight channel DVR, but it comes with six cameras. I've only put one camera on first. And it's very important to test the cameras before you start drilling and running your cables through. So if you click on that, there we go. You could see Catboy there. Click on it again. So if I right click, You've got your menus, your main menu, record menu and stuff. So if I click on main menu, okay, by default, there's no password. So username admin, no password. But I strongly recommend you do put a password in. Press OK for now. Record. So it does a 60 minute loop recording. And once the one terabyte hard disk drive is full, it will rewrite itself. But it takes 15 days for it to get full. Times here, just have a quick look at this little hole. Okay, playback at the bottom is put a timeline here, and you've got your dates there as well. So you could um, pick like the 29th or 1st of June or whatever. Okay, so if I right click that, back up, this is where you'd put a USB drive in, a pen drive, you could back the footage up, cancel, cancel, alarm, motion detection. So this is where you would set your motion detection up the sensitivity levels as well it's on medium maybe leave it on medium or high it depends on where you've got the camera mounted because if you leave it on the highest even if a leaf moves it will send you a notification you could set the region as well so all this is in us if i draw that box there it will send me a notification around that area but whatever's uh, is it pink? I think the colour pink or orange. Anyway, it will send, send me notification for that area, but not for anything in between. And then you could keep left clicking to pick more areas as well. Okay to that. More features you, it has. System, click on this. You've got your general settings here. It's already set London, 24 hours. Uh, HDD full, all drive. PAL, I'm in the UK so obviously mine's PAL but if you're in America it'll be NTSC. Okay, 
in code. So this is a setting, so compression, it's on H.264, 1080p, frame rate 14, quality highest, yeah. And substream, that's what it will show you on your mobile or tablet, okay to that. And then net services, so here you could set up for email alerts, okay to that. GUI display, channel, time display. So if you, if you don't want the time to display, you could take that off. You wouldn't check that on your display. Resolution. Okay. PTZ, that does not uh, apply to this camera because this, these cameras are not PTZ. Then you've got some more tour and digital and stuff. Advanced. So disk management. It's letting us know you could format the disk here as well. So if you were to install a different, uh, a bigger memory in yourself, you'd have to format it first. But as this is pre-installed, it's already formatted. You've got account online user. Let's restore so online user, yeah. Import, export. Device info and upgrade and stuff. So back out of that. We've got info, hard disk drive information. It's normal, it's good. And then you can log out as well. If I right click again, at the bottom here, you've got color settings. If you want to make any adjustments to the brightness and stuff like that. Okay, we'll download the app. We'll have a quick look at the app. If I go into Google Play Store, X, V, R, view that is, first one. Install this. I think once I download it, oh, that was really quick. I'll open it. It'll send me an email or something. Okay, agree. You have to agree to terms and conditions while using app. Audio while using app. Okay. Access to, okay, allow. I need to register. I'll quickly create an account and then I'll come back. I've created an account. I had to pick a username, password, email, put my phone number in, and it's brought me to this page. We are going to add a device. Click these three at the top. It's my name, live preview. We go to device manager. And at the top, add device ID. We'll scan the QR code. If I go to QR code there. Once you've scanned the QR code, go to live preview. These arrows on the right hand side. Select. Start preview. Bottom there, click on that. There we go, it's brought my one camera up. You have an option at the bottom here, how you want to view the cameras. Like mine are all up there, so if I go to that. There we go, it's come up. The app is a bit slow. To respond but it does the job if i click on it there you could see and it's got some more features at the bottom here you could pause it play take a shot just let me know it's saved you could start recording but that's irrelevant really because the uh, dvr box is doing the recording anyway just some more features at the bottom here then if i go back to that view there if i click on that I've got playback It's letting us know stream the device on one. There's got some it's got a timeline at the bottom there. And then again it's got a scissor sign there as well where I could trim the clip if I want to save it to my phone. And you could take a picture, pause, audio, stuff. If I press back, I don't want to exit the app. It's got alarm messages. No alarms have gone off, but if an alarm did go off, if I had motion detection, it would come up in there. Files, recovery, password, more. That's it. It's a basic app and it is a bit laggy, but it gets the job done. It's got my Wi-Fi on now. If I just turn my Wi-Fi off, it will still work on my uh, uh, mobile uh, data. Just to show there, it's still working on my um, mobile data. If 
for pinch to zoom in. As I said, the image quality isn't as good because it's not showing the full 1080p, but it does the job. So if you're away from home, you are able to see what's going on. Okay, let's have a look at some daytime and nighttime footage. At this point, I would normally show you day and nighttime footage from the camera, but unfortunately, I'm unable to, as the backup resolution is 944 by 1080 and cannot be changed. With YouTube compressing the file further, the image quality will fall apart. The cameras are 1080p, 2 megapixel. When you look at them live, image quality isn't that bad. So I'm showing you them live. This is on my monitor now. You could see Catboy there clearly. But I will change over and I will show you some nighttime footage that I recorded yesterday. And when I took it off the DVR box, it came in the 944 and I did try to change it in handbrake. I tried converting it and all sorts, but I couldn't get it because obviously it's a smaller size, you see. It's 944, so I couldn't do anything with it. I can put it in my um, editing software and manipulate the image, but then the quality will look really bad. So that's why I'm showing you the screen of, of what it looks like. So this is a bit of the nighttime footage I took last night. As you can see, there are black bars on the left and on the right, and the image quality isn't that good, really. You can hardly see Catboy. You can see there's someone there, but the trampoline on the left-hand side, uh, the black colour is completely crushed. One thing to remember, every camera needs a bit of lighting around it. And if you live in an area where the street lighting isn't that good, I'd recommend you go for a 5 megapixel system. The app is a generic app, it's quite limited and it is a bit slow, but it does the job. Overall, for a penny under £180, you can't go wrong for a budget system because you do get six cameras with them. Link in the description box below if you want to pick this up. Hope this video has helped someone. If it did, a like would be appreciated. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below. Subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.